on election day and today now is referendum day we see all sorts of people now we have been joined by the former prime minister of this country and the former leader of the people's united party mr musa good morning how are you good morning well thank pleasure you for you. it's a pleasure to see you too thank you for taking the few minutes to share with me this morning how has your day started it's been a hot day yes very hot but it's going well i mean uh, i was up from uh, five o'clock this morning I came out here at uh, about 6.30, all the polls were still locked down, uh, things began to move around 10 to 7. What is the feeling like for you? The feeling is um, kind of eerie, I have to say. Because even though we were dealing with a transcendental issue, existential issue, that affects our whole country. I get the feeling that people are very relaxed, relaxed about that. Which in a way is good. It says a lot for Belize that we know all this, which is clearly a matter of some national tension. But not allow it to make our people go mentally erratic and wild. So what is your purpose out here today? My purpose out here is to encourage people to go to the polls. People who live in Saleh, for instance, is there in area 8. I encourage them to go, come out and vote. They must come out and vote. What they is must, in your they hand? Must, but they should. What is in your hand? The voters list. The voters list. Yes. I want to make sure that they're dumb so that when they go into the polling station, they won't be sent back. Say, oh, no, you're not registered. Is this, um, I know that this is not, generally when there is election, I would imagine that you are not out doing this sort of work. Why did you find it important to do this sort of work today? Because my position today is somewhat at variance with the party that I was the leader of. I am I'm making apologies for it, and everybody knows now that I am advocating a yes vote today. We will not get into the details of that. You have the right to say how you feel about what you are going to do. But nonetheless, we encourage people to come on out and make their own decision. Whatever it is that you feel in your heart, today is the day to do it. Um, vote your conscience. Vote your conscience today. Come on out and do it. Because if tomorrow, when tomorrow comes, you can't be unhappy with what the result is if you did not contribute to the result that you wanted. For people that are not out yet and are sitting at home watching television, what would you say to them? I would say to them, this matter is very important. Come out and vote exercise your democratic rights. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Definitely we encourage people to come on out. Thank you so much. Uh, we encourage you to come on out and do what you must do today. We encourage you to vote. We are now in polling area number eight. All right. Um, it is, the morning is just about finished, but you have up until six o'clock today to do so. If you notice, it's still quiet. It's, it's, there's no lines, there's no traffic, you know. Miss. Miss Des, morning, what did go on? How are you? What are you doing out here today? You have to come, don't be shy. Don't, don't be shy, bad. don't be shy. Tell the people morning. Good morning. What you doing? Working. You're working today? Mm -hmm. I'm doing a part time. Okay, so uh, have you voted already? No, later. Do you intend to vote? Yes, I will. Can I depend that you will vote? Yes, you can. What has been your pull up? In preventing you from going earlier? Oh, uh, nothing. I just. You feel like you're going to. Was, was, was a bit late and I just came and get the job done that I'm doing and, you know, before I leave. Which area is your area? Um, Lake I. So, no make her run into you again and no make up your hand, you know. No, man. Enjoy your day. Yes, ma'am. All right, come on out and vote.